Godot is a massive application and there are features hidden everywhere, but there are also some features that are not so hidden that are really great. So here's a bunch that took me way too long to notice that I find myself now using all the time. If you've ever been trying to select a node and you end up getting the children instead, here's a way to fix that. Select the parent node, come up here and click group. And now anytime I click a child within that node, I'm gonna get the parent only. And if you're getting tired of instantiating stuff at the origin up here in zero, zero, and then having to pull it down here and position it, there is a better way. Making sure that you select the parent you want to receive this new scene, you can then right click on the stage and click instantiate scene here, find your node or your scene, and boom, there it is, right where you clicked. This also works if you want to bring in a brand new node. You can right click, select add node here. Let's say we're going to add a sprite 2D. And now when I bring my icon in, it's right where I clicked. There's also a similar function for bringing a node directly to where you right clicked. Let's say I've got this NPC, imagining for a second that this is a huge level, and I wanna click on him and drag him all the way down here, but it, it gets a little fiddly. Instead of doing that, I can return to my scene and I can select that NPC in my scene tree, right click and say, move nodes here and boom. Now I've moved it without having to scroll and zoom and do all that nonsense. And speaking of scrolling and zooming, this is a quick one, but did you know you can double click on this to reset it to 100%? Hardly a game changer, but a neat little trick. While I'm sure most of you are familiar with the run, run current scene and run specific scene options, you might find yourself clicking between these and then selecting run current scene when you've got the right tab. Well, you can save yourself a little bit of mouse travel by simply right clicking on the tab that you want to play and then select play this scene. Again, probably not a game changer, but you stack enough of these quality of life things together and the tool gets much more joyful to use. And speaking of joy, let's talk about math. Did you know that the number input fields can do basic math for you? So if I wanted my game to be half the size, instead of dividing 960 by two in my head, I can type divided by two and hit enter. Likewise with multiplication, addition, and this works throughout the application. I'm sure many of you have seen this favorites option in the file system, but how many of you are actually using it effectively? In my projects, there's a couple of scenes that I find myself going back to constantly, and I don't wanna keep them all open in tabs. I'll come down here. My player is a good example. I'll add that. I usually have a test level that I have up there, maybe a data file that I'm constantly changing to try new settings. And now they sit nicely pinned at the top of my files. And of course, I can add and remove those throughout development based on what I'm working on. Lastly, let's just look at a couple of things in the script editor. Many of you probably know that you can hold control and then hover over these classes and click to go to their definitions. Did you know that you can do the same thing with your own method declarations? If I scroll down in my hero class and find this get input function, if I hold control, and then click, it's gonna jump me down into the body of that method. Up here, there's also a go to function window that lists all the methods in your open file, and allows you to search them and jump directly into the one you're looking for. Although if you find yourself using this a lot, it's probably time to refactor and break your code into smaller, more specialized classes. Jumping back to our get input, you can see it's kind of long. It took me a surprisingly long time to notice this caret over here that collapses the script window and gives me enough room to see all of my code on one screen. If you want an even more code forward experience, you can click this icon up here to enter distraction free mode and just look at your code. Lastly, if you ever find yourself doing a lot of cutting and hitting return and pasting to reorganize your project, it turns out you can hold alt and then press the up and down arrows to move code line by line. You can even select entire blocks and do the same thing to move them up and down your code to save yourself a lot of cut and pasting to move things around. So that's it. I don't think any of these is gonna change your life, but again, collectively, they certainly make my experience with Godot better. If you're like me and you were surprised that you didn't know any of these until just now, let me know in the comments which ones were your favorites, or if you have any favorites that I missed, add them as well. And as always, please be kind to yourself, be kind to others, 
and I will see you in one of these or a future video. Take care.